Ooh, take a look at this. This guy got invited to a Canadian person's house for a meal. Wow. But he's a bit nervous because he doesn't know how to be polite at the dinner table. How to be polite at the dinner table. Do you know how to be polite at the dinner table? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you. Hey, if you like getting cultural tips like this, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel right down there. Okay, so the first thing you should say is, thank you so much for inviting me to dinner. Thank you so much for inviting me to dinner. That's very nice to thank your host, right? The person is your host and you are the guest. You're the guest. Okay. Now it might be a formal, you know, situation, or it might be more of a casual situation. It might be really casual. You know, maybe your friend, you know, will invite you over to watch a movie and eat some pizza, right? So then you just sit on the couch and you watch a movie and you're just eating some, some pizza. That's a very casual situation. You don't have to worry about anything. Just sit there, eat some pizza, put your feet up like this. Look, this girl has her feet up here. Uh, now, in some cultures, it's rude to put your feet up, right? Like in Thailand, for example, uh, it's rude if you show the bottoms of your feet. Well, in Canada, in the US, and other Western countries, it's not rude at all. So you don't have to worry about it. You can just cross your arms, put your feet up on the couch or, or whatever. It's totally fine. You don't have to worry about it. But, you know, if you're sitting around a dinner table, uh, then it's a bit more formal, right? I mean, it might not be too formal. It's still sort of a, a casual situation but uh, it's more formal than sitting on a couch, right? So the first thing I want to tell you is don't worry. Just don't worry. You know, when you're in these situations for the first time, you know, it's, I've been in these situations in other cultures and you don't know what to do. You don't know what to expect. You don't want to be rude. So, you're just sort of scared and worried. You know what? Don't worry at all. If, if someone has invited you to their house, you know, they know you're from a different culture and uh, they will forgive you if you make mistakes. So, so don't worry about it at all. Okay. Now, before eating, uh, a very polite thing to say is, is there anything I can help with? Is there anything I can help with? Okay. They've invited you to their house and they're probably getting some things ready right there maybe they're putting uh food on the table right some dishes on the table um before eating so you know you could ask is there anything i can help with is there anything i can help with the host will probably say no no it's okay just just relax okay uh, but it's nice to ask it's polite to ask okay and uh, now she might say this all right everything is ready if you could gather around the dinner table. All right, everything is ready. If you could gather around the dinner table, right? Like maybe you are with your family and you're visiting their family. So there's like two families, right? You know, maybe you are talking with, uh, you know, maybe you are talking with the husband and maybe your wife is talking with, you know, that person's wife. And when everything is ready, then the, the host will say, all right, everything is ready. If you could gather around, gather around the table. Okay. Uh, now you might not know where to sit, right? Where do I sit? So don't worry. Uh, your host might tell you where to sit, right? Uh, she might say, Abdul, why don't you have a seat right here? Abdul, why don't you have a seat uh, right over there or, or right here. Okay. Now, if the host does not tell you where to sit, you can ask. Okay. You should ask, is there any particular place you would like me to sit? Is there any particular place you would like me to sit? Okay. Any particular place? She might say, oh no, just take a seat anywhere. Take a seat anywhere. Or oh, you can sit right over here. Okay, so it depends on the situation. If, if they don't tell you where to sit, you can ask. 
uh, you know, yeah, she might say, no, just grab a seat wherever you like. No, just, just grab a seat wherever you like. Grab. We use, we use that word, just grab a seat. That means just take a seat wherever you like. Okay. Uh, then after you sit down, what's going to happen? Right? You're sitting there. What do you do? <laughs> you might be nervous. Don't be nervous. Just relax. So a nice thing to say is, wow, everything looks delicious. Wow, everything looks delicious. Right? It's nice to compliment your host. You know, they've made a nice meal for you. You know, just, just tell them, wow, it looks really good. This looks so delicious. Okay. Um, and then you can also say this. Thank you again so much for inviting me. Right? Thank you so much again for, you know, inviting me. So, you know, you sit down, right? When you sit down, wow, everything looks really delicious. Thank you so much for inviting me. Right. So you're thanking them again. It's nice to thank them maybe one or two, three times during the evening. That's very polite. You know, some people pray before eating. If you get invited to uh, like a Canadian person's house, uh, there's, a, there's a chance that they might be a Christian, a Christian family. There's a lot of Christians in Canada, the US, Australia, England. Okay, a lot of people are Christians in, in these countries. And one thing that religious people do here is they, they pray before eating. Have you ever experienced that before? You might not know what to do. What do you do? <laughs> you might be freaking out, freaking out. You, you don't want to, you don't know what to do, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's sort of a new situation for you. Well, don't worry. You just, uh, you, it's very easy. I'll tell you what to do. Okay. So the host might say, all right, let's pray. All right, let's pray. Okay. So before, you know, you sit down, uh, then when everybody is sort of sitting down and uh, then the host will say, all right, let's pray or let's say grace or let's give thanks or let's offer a blessing. Okay. So this means that the host is going to pray. Okay. The, the family, you know, they're going to pray before eating. So you don't need to worry. Just do three things. Okay. In, uh, in like Western Christianity, people fold their hands like this when they pray. Okay. They fold their hands and they close their eyes and they bow their head. Okay. They bow their head. Okay. So, uh, you will probably see the host family do this, right? And then you should just do the same thing out of respect, right? Uh, so just fold your hands. Uh, now this person, it looks like their hands are on the table. Uh, I would say it's better just to, to put your hands in your lap, right? Not, not on the table, just in your lap. Okay. So like this, fold your hands, close your eyes and bow your head. And then the host will pray. The host will pray. It might sound something like this. Have you ever heard a Christian prayer like before a meal? It might be the first time you ever hear something like this, but the prayer might sound like this. Okay. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to share some time with Abdul and his family. Please bless him and his family as they adjust to life in Canada. I commit our evening to you. Would you give us a good time of fellowship together? Please bless this food to our body's health. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, this is what sort of a, a typical prayer would, would be like. It's probably not exactly like this. You know, they might say whatever they think about, but it'll probably be something like this. You know, maybe 20 seconds or 30 seconds long. And then after the person says, Amen, then you can open your eyes and lift up your head and, and unfold your hands. Okay, do you understand this prayer, the word fellowship, the word fellowship is like a spiritual word for, um, for just, just hanging out, like, like being together, spending time with each other, talking to someone, right? That's, that's called fellowship. That's like the spiritual word for just, 
talking to each other, right? Um, now, what else? Uh, in Jesus' name. Now, why, why did they say this, in Jesus' name? Well, Christians pray in Jesus' name because Jesus said to do that. Jesus said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay, in the book of John, chapter 14 in the Bible. Okay, that's what Jesus said. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So that's why when you hear Christians pray, very often they pray in Jesus' name, Amen. And Amen means it's finished. The prayer is finished. Now you can, you can move on with the meal. Okay, so then the host is going to say, all right, let's eat. Or let's dig in. Let's dig in. Or bon appetit. Bon appetit. Okay, this isn't English, right? It's French. But we stole it from French. Very often, you know, people say this, even in English. But, uh, you know, the host might say, all right, let's eat, or, or let's dig in, right? Um, so, this is what, you know, the meal might look like, right? A table full of food. It might be a Christmas dinner. Hey, it might be, they might have invited you over to their house for a Christmas dinner or a Thanksgiving dinner. So, there might be lots of food like this. So, what should you do? You sat down at the table, you prayed, now what should you do? What should you do in this situation where there's so much food in front of you uh, and you don't know what to do? Well, it's very easy, okay? You take whatever is in front of you, the dish, you know, all these are different dishes, right? Different kinds of dishes. So, uh, you take the dish that is the closest to you, you put some in your plate, and then you pass it. You pass it around the table, okay? Mostly, you know, the food is passed uh, around the table clockwise, like this. Most of the time, this is how it works, okay? So, you take something, and then you pass it to the person on your left. And then that person will take something, pass it to you, you take something and you pass it around, right? So all the food gets passed around the table, okay? Uh, so the host might say, Abdul, why don't you start with the mashed potatoes? Abdul, why don't you start with the mashed potatoes? Okay, so then you take some mashed potatoes, you put it on your plate, and then you pass the, the mashed potatoes to your left. Okay, then the person who's sitting over here, they're going to pass you something and until, you know, everything has been passed around um, and then your plate will be full. Now, I want to tell you a few tips, okay? Don't start eating until your plate is full. So, look at this plate here. Mmm, that's a full plate. Okay, so once you've taken a little bit of everything, I mean, you don't have to take something of everything if you don't want, but just, you know, have a full plate. Okay, so don't start eating until your plate is full. Also, wait until your host starts eating. Okay, that's very polite. So after everyone, you know, has food in their plate, the host will probably say, all right, let's, let's dig in. And the host will start eating. Then that's your signal that you can start eating. If you start eating before the host, that's a bit rude. So you should just wait till they start, right when they start eating, then you can start eating as well. Okay, now the third tip I want to give you is don't reach. Don't reach. Do you know what that means? That means like this. Give me some chicken. Yes, I got my chicken. Mmm, lovely chicken. Wow, that chicken tastes so good. Okay, that's called reaching. Reaching, that's rude. It's rude if you reach. I mean, if you have to put something down, you have to reach a little bit. That's okay, right? You, then you can say, excuse my reach. Excuse my reach. I forgot to put that in this lesson. Excuse my reach. Okay, like, you know, maybe you have the, the mashed potatoes and there's nowhere to put it. So you have to put it like maybe over there. So excuse my reach and then you can put it down, right? That's fine. That's that's polite. But it's 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 not polite to <laughs> to reach around. Rather, you should ask. Ask people to pass you things, right? So you could say, "John, would you mind passing the turkey?" "John, would you mind passing the turkey?" That means you want turkey. And this is a very polite way of asking for the turkey, 
right? Don't reach for it. Give me the turkey. <laughs> no, say, John, would you mind passing the turkey? Thank you. Thank you, right? It's good to say thank you after someone does something for you. Okay. Now you can say, wow, this is delicious. The turkey is so tender and juicy. Mmm. Wow, this is delicious. The turkey is so tender and juicy, right? It's nice to compliment the host on the, the, the food or, or maybe on other things as well, right? You could say this, I love the color of this tablecloth. Wow, I love the color of this tablecloth, right? Look at this, it's sort of a nice red checkered pattern on the tablecloth. It's a nice tablecloth. So, you know, you can just, you can look at different things and, and try to try to find some nice things to compliment your host on. Okay. Now you might be wondering, what should you talk about? What should you talk about? Um, well, I would say, let the host lead the conversation. Let the host lead the conversation, right? You're the guest. They are the host. So, so let them, let them lead it. Um, and when they ask you questions, you should reciprocate. Okay. Reciprocate. That means you should ask them some questions too, right? For example, the host might ask, how long have you been working for FedEx? How long have you been working for FedEx? And then you can say, um, well, I've been working for FedEx for six months now. Yeah. And then pause a little bit because the host might want to ask you a follow up question, right? They might ask, uh, do you like working there? And you can say, yeah, I really enjoy it. Uh, my boss is, is really great. Uh, I really get along well with my coworkers. Um, it's a nice working environment. I don't know. You can say whatever you want. And then after you're finished talking, then you should ask your host something. You know, you could ask them, what, what do you do for work? Or, or how long have you lived in this house? Or, you know, uh, how long have you guys been married? Or, you know, just any, any basic English conversation, right? I've made other lessons about English conversation. Uh, this lesson is just more, you know, I'm teaching you how to be polite around a dinner table. So it's polite to talk about, um, you know, just, just nice things. Don't talk about like politics or um, things that, that might be, you know, contentious. The contentious means uh, like you don't want to get into an argument, right? Or you don't want to say something that will offend your host. So just be very nice. Let them lead the conversation. You know, give them some good answers and, and ask them some questions too, right? It's just a normal conversation. Okay. Uh, now take a look at this. This thing is called a napkin, a napkin, or in Canada, very often we use the word serviette, serviette. Okay. So every few minutes you should take your napkin and wipe your mouth, wipe your mouth, uh, because there might be some food around your mouth, right? So it's good to just wipe your mouth a little bit just to make sure your mouth is clean. Okay. Uh, now take a look at this here. Uh, this is maybe in a really formal dining situation. If you go to someone's house, it won't look like this. But maybe if you go out to a, a fancy restaurant or something, it might look like this. You know, all this cutlery. Okay, look at all this cutlery or silverware. Okay, you can call this stuff cutlery or silverware. Okay, there, there are two words. So why why is there all this silverware? Well. Uh, it's probably because there will be uh, many courses in the meal. Do you know what a course is? A course is like uh, is a, a part of the meal. Okay, so for example, a four course meal might have an appetizer to start. I don't know, maybe some little some little thing, an appetizer, and then you might eat a salad, and then a main dish right? Maybe like fish or steak or something like that. And then dessert, dessert at the end. So for each, I mean, the reason you have three or four forks is like for each course, after each course, you stop using that fork. You know, maybe a server will come and take away the fork and that plate. Like if you see in this picture, it looks like there are, like here's a big plate and then there's a smaller plate and a smaller plate and a smaller one. So, you know, you, you might eat your salad 
with like one of those forks and this bowl here and then the server will come and take it away okay so i don't know i to be honest i don't have much experience with formal dining like this so i don't even know how how to do this but i think you start with the, the outside the outside cutlery okay so you start with the 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 fork on that side the farthest away from the plate you start from the outside and then you go in like that have you ever been in a situation like this where you had like two or three or four forks I'm, maybe I've been in a situation like this a few times in my life, but, but not very much. So I don't even know, you know, I don't even know proper etiquette around meals like this. Uh, just be normal. It doesn't matter. Just, just, you know, for example, I'm right-handed, right? So I would take the fork from here. I would move it to my right hand and then I would use my knife in my left hand and I would cut my food like that. Um, you know, I don't know if that's the proper way to do it, but it's the way I eat, right? I eat, I'm right-handed. I eat with my right hand, right? So I would say just do whatever you want. It, it really doesn't matter too much. Just relax and enjoy the evening. Oh, now here is something important, okay? Uh, when you're finished eating, when you're finished eating, you should uh, put your, your cutlery like this on your plate, okay? Put it like this like that, uh, and that, that signals to your host that you are finished eating, that you're full. Okay, if your fork and knife are like by the sides of your plate, then that looks like you want more food, right? But if you're finished, then you should just put your, your cutlery like this on your plate. That gives the, the signal to your host that you're finished eating. Now, I would say look around, look around the table um, to see how everyone is doing. If someone needs more food, uh, you can offer them some food that is close to you, right? So you could say, Mary, could I pass you some more cranberry sauce? Mary, could I pass you some more cranberry sauce, right? Maybe the cranberry sauce is over here on your side of the table, uh, and maybe, maybe she is too shy to ask for you to pass it. So, so just look around and, and, you know, offer people things. That's sort of polite, right? Uh, John, would you like some more turkey? Can I pass you, could I pass you some more, you know, mashed potatoes or turkey or something? So, so that's polite just to, to make sure that everyone around the table is, is okay. At least the food that you have right in front of you, you can pass that food, right? That's your sort of your responsibility. You're not responsible for the food over there, right? If you want that, then you have to ask for it. Or they might offer you. They might say, uh, Mark, uh, can I pass you some more uh, Brussels sprouts or some more corn? Uh, sure, I would love some more corn. Thank you so much. Okay, then uh, you can just carry on. But it's just nice to take a look around the table to make sure everyone is okay. Okay, then after the, the meal, you'll have dessert, okay? In a meal like this, most most of the time you will have dessert. It might be like a pie or cake or ice cream or I don't know, cookies, something like that. Uh, so it's just the same. You just take some, some dessert. Um, now, the host might ask you, would you like seconds? Would you like seconds? Like, would you like another piece of pie? Seconds means, uh, means more food. Okay, more from like an, another piece of something, right? You, so you could say, sure, I'd love another piece of pie. Sure, I, that pie is so good. I'd love another piece of pie. I'd love another piece of that cake. Okay, um, now here is something very polite to say at the, end of the, at the end of the meal when the host is cleaning up, right? Uh, so, you know, when you're finished eating, um, you, might, you might move away from the dinner table and you might move to the, the living room and your host might offer you some coffee or something like that. Um, now, a polite thing is to say, Mary, can I help with the dishes? Mary, could I help with the dishes? Could or can, both are fine. Mary, can I help with the dishes? Uh, and your host will probably say, no, no, don't worry about that. Just relax, just relax. Uh, but it's nice to offer, right? Remember at the beginning of the meal, you said, is there anything I can help with? And now at the end of the meal, you're saying, can I help with the dishes? Or, or you could say, can I help clear the table? 
clear the table means you you take all the food and dirty dishes off the table okay so that's very polite um, you know I would say just smile be friendly and use common sense common sense that means like uh, just just it's just common sense it's something natural it's so like like for example don't swear right you know that it's common sense don't say bad words around the dinner table don't put your elbows on the table like this that's rude right that's just common sense uh, don't burp if you can help it right burp uh, right that's rude if you burp then say excuse me excuse me now in some cultures it's it's polite to burp that means you're you're enjoying the food right uh, but in Western culture it's not polite to burp but if you do burp you should just say excuse me excuse me okay uh, hey let's do some homework I want to know have you ever eaten a meal uh, you know around a Western dinner table have you ever have you ever been invited to like uh, a Western person's house uh, for a meal and sitting around a table like that it might be very scary for you but don't worry if, if you are in a situation like this it would be a great experience so so just take the experience and enjoy it but let me know your answer to this question down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV take care